Errol Spence is focused on his rematch with Terence Crawford, but quite a few pros are warning him that he shouldn't have activated the rematch clause yet. Polly Malinaji isn't interested in watching this rematch, and he doesn't think that it'll be any different than the first time they met in the ring. Polly stated, So in this particular situation, Crawford Spence, I really have no interest in the rematch. The first fight decided it for me. I don't have any cares in the world for the rematch. I don't want to see it. They'll still make it and they'll do what they want to do. It's not up to me, but personally, I don't care for that rematch, no. I was told through the grapevine even before the first fight that they'd done a two-fight deal and the second fight was going to be at 154. Again, I don't see anything different. It was very clear that Terence could hurt Errol. Terence can clearly hurt Errol and Errol. For me, I don't even see an attempt at an adjustment. Joel Diaz doesn't just think that things will be the same, but he also thinks that things will be much worse for Spence this time around. Joel stated, No, Spence will not do any better. I think it will be worse for Errol Spence because now that Terence Crawford already got his number, and then his mentality after this beating is different. I mean, he's a warrior. Errol Spence is a warrior. Says, okay, I'll fight him again, but honestly, realistically, it will be no difference. It will be the same outcome, and I think on the next one, it'll be more beneficial for Crawford in a better fashion. I mean, the fact that Errol Spence is moving to 54 is like, Crawford is moving to 54 too. He's a big boy as well. And that night I saw a Crawford bigger than Errol Spence. He looked bigger that night, so there is no difference. Eddie Hearn doesn't think that people should take away from what Errol Spence brought to the last fight, but he still sees Terrence being the favorite. Eddie stated, No, I don't think so. I think that was a taxing fight for Errol Spence. Without taking anything away from Terrence Crawford's performance, there are starting to be a few miles on the clock for Spence. Whether it's lifestyle, retina, or car crash, whether it's tough fights, and that kind of fight last time would do some more to take some extra miles off the tank. I do think he'd be stronger at 154. He's been at 147 a long time, but I still think Terence Crawford is the big favorite in that fight. I don't think it's a fight people are clamoring for, so I think you're going to have to find something to get Spence off the pan for that rematch. Freddie Roach just doesn't see the point in seeing Terence beat Errol again. Freddie stated, yeah, if it's at 154 pounds, Spence is going to be getting in there with an even bigger puncture. I don't see a second fight being necessary, because the first fight clearly showed who the better fighter was. Let him get back in the gym, get back to work, and get a couple of wins under his belt. Then maybe we could see it. Amir Khan also thinks that this rematch will end with the same result as the first fight. Amir stated, Crawford is the top pound for pound, the way he beat Spence in a fight that nobody ever expected. I didn't really think that he was going to do it that easily. The way he went in that ring and put on a great performance, punch perfect, he was a powerful fighter in there, he had more speed, he just looked physically stronger, he ticked all the boxes for me. And I think with that win against Spence, you have to say Crawford is pound for pound number one. It's going to be the same result. I just feel like Spence didn't even have a chance in the first fight, and in the rematch it's gonna happen again. I think Crawford is gonna do a job on him again. I like Spence, don't get me wrong. For the Olympics, he trained in my academy in Bolton. But the thing is, Crawford is the better fighter. Stephen A. Smith doesn't think that Errol should never activate his rematch clause, but he definitely thinks he should wait a little bit. Stephen stated, I'm not cracking jokes. I'm not laughing. I don't think it's funny. It was just bad. He does not need to get back in the ring with Terence Crawford this year. Me, personally, period. But especially this year. He doesn't need to get back in the ring before next summer, but he had a rematch clause he exercised. Crawford has to honor the rematch clause, even though he'd rather fight people like Jermel Charlo, who's about to fight Canelo Alvarez, or he'd like to move up and fight Canelo Alvarez, even though Canelo Alvarez is not really entertaining that. Steven had actually been hoping Spence would wait ever since the last fight ended. A matter of fact, let me make a plea over the international digital airwaves of YouTube. Let me make a plea right now to Terrence Crawford. I understand you just beat him. You beat him thoroughly. 
You're the undisputed welterweight champion of the world. The WBO, the WBA, the WBC, the IBF titles. But you hugged him after the fight for a reason. I am making a plea to Terrence Crawford. Even if you elect to give Errol Spence Jr. a rematch. Please do not do this for at least a year. Don't. Please don't do that. Y'all are cool with one another. I'm begging you, my brother. I'm begging you. Because I know you got love. And I'm begging Errol Spence Jr. As good as you are, you were just outclassed. I say that respectfully because I got mad respect for Errol Spence Jr. Please, please do not fight Errol Spence Jr. Canelo Alvarez also thinks the fight will be the same result as the last one. Canelo stated, I don't think it's time for Spence to retire. Crawford was just the best man that night. But if they fight again, it's just going to be the same thing. Crawford is a better fighter. I respect Spence and I like Spence, but Crawford has everything. Malik Scott didn't think the first fight was a good match, so he doesn't think that this rematch will be any better for Spence. Malik stated, once they got in the ring, it was a mismatch. A mismatch that I don't want to see again and that I don't think should take place again. I'm not big on Crawford beating on Errol Spence like that again or worse. I don't want to see that. Errol has a family, he has a good life and he's made tons of history and tons of money. I just don't want to see him go through that again. That was tough to watch. 154 makes it worse to me because he's not just going to be coming in bigger and more hydrated. Crawford is as well. He had to make the weight too. Even Terrence Crawford didn't think that Spence should rush into a rematch without taking some time off first. Terrence stated, well, I don't think he should retire. I think he should take a little time off, you know, get his mind right and, you know, get back in the gym and get back focused. Because, you know, I never took a loss in the professional rankings, but I know how that could affect you mentally, you know, being at this high level and losing the way Spence lost. You know, you start questioning yourself. You start asking yourself certain questions. Do I still have it? Am I getting old? Am I slipping? You start asking yourself all different types of questions that you gotta answer. So I would just tell him, you know, you're a great fighter. Take a little time off and come back and, you know, do it again, but don't rush it. While Terrence originally thought that Spence should take a break, after Spence activated the rematch clause, Terrence gave him credit and talked about what he expects from Spence. Because, you know, um, I think Arrow, Arrow is a strong-minded, strong-willed uh, individual. I feel as if, you know, he would go back to the drawing board. He would come back stronger. He'll come back more hungrier. And he'll try to fix the things that, you know, uh, he needed to fix to uh, make the fight uh, look different in the second time than in the first time. I do believe that, you know, but um, that's the only thing that I can actually sense because you know, I will be on the other side. Spence is confident in his chances now as well, and he stated, I know I'm a lot better than what I showed tonight. I know that a lot of things were off with me. Even though Terrence Crawford did what he was supposed to do, he was sharp and he was on point, and he made sure he was 100% ready in this fight. I got a feel for his power probably like the first second round. You know, he's a strong dude, but you know, everybody at this top level has some type of power. But I think because my timing was off, he was catching me in between shots. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.